Hmm. We're back. Last thing that happened was I saw those those little pillagers. They were over there. And they invaded my world, my peaceful little paradise. They didn't see me though, and I've decided that they are gone. Yeah, those those guys, they just waltzed on through here. Which is which has made me realize the need for security protocol. I got to get myself some walls so no bad guys can get in. I gotta light up the whole place. Which I don't think light really I don't know if it really affects those guys. I think they can just come out any time they want in the day, but I'm thinking walls. I'm claiming this whole like dome area is mine. So I could maybe, I could do some fun, some some cool walls. And like my house can be part of the wall. I'm not sure though. I need security. And uh, some iron wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. I, I really have been avoiding going down into the earth but I need iron. Because these stone tools, they're not cutting it anymore. I should finish my house though. How do I get up to my loft? Should I do stairs or should I do a ladder? You know what? We need... I think it's a ladder situation. Whee! Just to save space. We're like, we're a minimalist household at the moment. Heck, let's make it so you have to jump up on this crafting table to get up to my... Uh, that's nice. You know what we should do? We should make these slabs to make the room feel bigger. That's a little life hack right there. I'm so smart. So goal for today, get iron, finish my house so I can run in here for safety. Cause no way am I ever gonna- I'm never- those guys- those guys are crazy, I would never confront them. Best to avoid them. And then, as much as I want to start on walls and stuff, I think it's best if I, uh, if I make a little farm first, because farms are important, and the only food I have right now is this cooked chicken and like 36 potatoes, and I don't really dig on the potato scene that much. This is nice. This is gonna be my loft, my bed area. I need to make another bed because I always want to have one in my inventory, but it'd be nice to have a house bed too. Oh, that's so helpful. My respawning point's set now for when I die. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter. Alright. Sheep, someday I'm gonna have iron and I can just shear you, but now is not that day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Speaking of sheep, though, I just realized I'm pretty sure I got wool in my one chest. <gasps> Look at that. It's perfect. There we go. Alright. And we all know the rules. Gotta get me a flower. I can't wait for me to have a spyglass. I love my spyglasses because you can, you can just you can see so far. So useful. Is there? Oh, there we go. So useful. There we go. This one can just stay right there in my inventory. That's its home now. Oh, there was a flower right there. That's nice. It will. Gotta get my steps in. Um, and I want the loft area to be almost it's like it's. It's gonna be tall, but it's gonna be like almost. It's gonna be like the roof, I think, should be coming. Should be starting. So it's kind of like attic y. Attic vibes, you know? Oh! Get back here. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna die to fall damage. If I die to fall damage, I think that would be the worst thing that could possibly happen. Because it's so stupid. I also. I want. Yeah. We're gonna have different colors of roof. Oh, I should also, I should plant these saplings so they start growing. Doop. Doop. Perfect. Ooh. And then, I like to multitask. Let's have our food cooking too while I build up the roof. Man, pretty soon, we're just gonna have so much food, we're not even gonna know what to do with it. It's gonna be, ah, oh, it's gonna be awesome. <sighs> I almost fell. It gave me a heart attack, oh my gosh. I'd like to cite my earlier statement of I am not an actual architect and I don't know what I'm doing. And so usually my houses, unless I'm copying them off someone else, look like, um, bad. They look really bad. And I'm not copying off someone else right now, which is, I should be. And honestly, I will. I'll probably tear this house down at some point and then look up actually a good house and just do that. But right now, I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood to just do what I do. 
do what comes naturally. I'd also like to sleep. There we go. Look at that. I want a big old window right here so I can watch the sunset when I'm sleeping. And that's what this is supposed to be. This should be a bigger window. <laughs> My stone tools broke. I don't I don't have that much stone either. I'm kinda kinda slacking on the resources and gathering. Perfect. And then I think I need um I need more glass, but not that much more. Nothing crazy. Oh, and while I'm over here, I can check on my... Ow. I can check on my wheat farm. It's doing terribly. Guys, you gotta, you gotta grow faster, alright? We, we need a more productive society. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be successful here. And that means you have to put in the effort. Oh, okay. I'm just, like, mentally... Like, things I should do to make my life easier. I want to... Uh, just a simple bridge right here. Because I have a feeling I'm going to go over there a lot. I don't know why though. I haven't, I haven't gone over there too much. But that seems... It's calling me. And I like straight shots. So I don't want to have to go all the way around. So bridge right here. And one that looks real cool. And then um... Obviously my wall around my whole city. But that's... That's going to be a while. But it'd be nice. Because I... Usually whenever I have villagers in a little town, I lock them up into like their own house. Otherwise they wander off. But if I have a big old wall, I could literally let the villagers just roam. And then obviously I think I'd have a few where I locked up. Like the ones that I really liked that I just trade with all the time. So I don't lose them or have to go search for them every time I want to trade with them. But yeah, you know, it's nice to have roaming villagers because it, it seems like... I don't know. Wish those saplings would grow. <gasps> Why? Why? No. They're still here. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh, that's gonna be how I die. Okay, I almost prefer fall damage. I feel like. I feel like I wouldn't notice almost. Dude! Oh, if they had caught me when I was outside getting my, getting my sand, I would be dead. Ho ho. Do those guys just go away? Because I really, I, I thought they left. I thought they just left. And then I thought the game would just forget about them. Is Minecraft smarter than I thought it was? They have, they don't seem to have noticed me yet though, but they will. You know what? I should just mine. This should just be my mining day. I'm staying in here. I'm not coming out until they're gone. I need I need stone anyway for stuff. And hopefully I'll find iron. Because I, I miss iron. I haven't seen iron. And oh my gosh, there's nothing like, like starting a new world and getting your first iron pickaxe. It looks so shiny and new. It's insane. And then, you know, as the world goes on, you get used to it. But... The first iron pickaxe is so, oh, it looks so awesome. So I'm excited for that. And then I wouldn't mind getting enough iron to make an anvil, because then I can name my tools. And I love naming my tools. And I don't think this is the best way to mine. Where do you, hold on, let me look it up real quick. Where do you find, what Y levels is iron on? 16, all right. Hold on, let's see if I- do I have my fancy, uh, F controls on? How do I get- oh, there we go, look at that! Um, I'm on 80. Okay, we're just gonna make some stairs then. Okay, that's- that's F3. To see my coordinates. Oh, I just realized my sound's not on. There we go. Ha ah. Sorry. Um, I'm desperately afraid of caves because um, that will be the death of me. The second I decide to step foot in a cave, I have to, I have to be like so stupidly careful. Oh, look, it's outside. Um, wait, that's where the villagers are. Ah. You know what? You know what? I think this 
is an adventure for later. We can dig over here. Do I have, where's my coal? I need uh, torches. And I don't have any food. You know what? Okay. Oh, I have 11 potatoes. I said 36 earlier. I'm an optimist. Are those guys gone yet? Let me go up to my perch and hope they don't see me. <gasps> they're over there. They look like they're stuck. That should be my next Google search. Do these freaking guys despawn? Um, I only need three. I don't expect to be gone long. Especially, I don't even have a crafting table on me right now. I could make one, I have enough supplies, but. This is just, this is just, we're trying to go to Y level 16, grab some iron, and then we'll make our shiny new iron pickaxe. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll splurge, make two crafting tables, look at that. But yeah, when we get iron, what's our priority? I'm thinking pickaxe for sure. Shears? No, I don't need shears right now. I already have two beds. There's no reason for me to waste anything on shears. Because I think a bucket would be more useful. Because then I can start my farm way easier. Um, where I want it to be. And a bucket is three. And a pickaxe is three. And... So hopefully I get six. Copper is one of those things where I'm like, I, when I don't need it, I always find it. And then the second I'm like, you know what? I want to build a really neat building out of copper. It's nowhere to be found. And so I'm always in the back of my head. I'm like, every time I see copper, should I just collect it and have massive stores of copper? And maybe I will do that in this world. Um, I think, yeah, copper would be, copper is a pretty cool block. But I'll do that when I have an iron pickaxe. Because right now this stone one. Oh, and you know what else I need to do? I need to make sure I don't let it become night. Oh, no. Yeah, because then monsters start spawning. And they'll be in the forests and stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I need to get myself a, a clock. But it doesn't look like monsters spawned. Yeah, we're going back down. So... A clock would not hurt. And the second I get iron, I'll go and I'll get that, um, I'll get that gold block from that one portal I found. And then I think, oh, is that the cave where the monsters are? <laughs> Guys, you don't understand. I'm really bad at this game. This monster's out here. He's, it's his mission to freak me out. You're doing your job. I am thoroughly just so scared right now. I can't, I can't handle it. Uh, you're like right there. Not a fan. What Y level are we on? 54. Oh my gosh. It's good. It's good. Take a little bit to get down to where 16 is, isn't it? You know what else? I've found in the past, I've had, I've been able to find just like major mountains that were just all iron almost. It was insane. There was, you'd take a step and there'd be iron. I got so much iron. Like, it'd be cool to find one of those mountains, but no bad guys, right? <sighs> okay. I'm still not a fan of this, so we're going to seal me up. Man, I miss not hardcore mode because I would just, you know, I just, I'd go crazy in the caves. I wouldn't care. But now it's like, I actually, there are consequences to my actions. And I know I can't usually back up my actions with skill, which is what being immortal does for you, I guess. It's like, oh, I guess I don't really have to be good at nothing because it doesn't matter. I'll just respawn. Ho oh, ho. I can tell that's where the monsters are going to be. All right. I think I've successfully avoided that zombie. Oh, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I, I need to chill the heck out. Nothing can get- <gasps> There's iron! Oh my gosh, no, I'm gonna die. I can't. I can't. I have to find iron the stupid way. What if I get to it somehow? 
while being in an enclosed space. Check it. I'm so scared. This is so overkill, I know it. Haha! -ha! I'm safe. Oh! -ho! No, I'm not. I'm safe! <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Okay, now I'm safe. Oh, oh my gosh! This is a... This is a real nice amount I've run into. This is a very good fortune. I am pleased. How much is that? Is that eight? Is that what this? Yeah, it's eight. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't really need more than that right now. Like, I ain't picky. Just making sure there's none around it. All right, that's, yeah, that's my sign to go home. Eight's perfect. Eight's more than I wanted. I wanted six at least. We're rolling in it. We're so rich right now. Oh my gosh. Hi, copper. I'm going to start collecting copper. Because I think it'd be cool to have, like, copper block walls. Is it raining? Is that what I hear? Yes, it is. Oh, I did get some copper. Um. Oh, and I have one of these, so I technically have nine. I'm so rich right now. How are those guys doing? Are they still over there? Hold on, I can't see them from here. Are they still just stuck? Yeah. See, if I had a bow and arrow, I could take them out. It'd take me, it'd take me a while. And actually, I might not be able to. The only time I ever was able to take out like a raid was with an enchanted like infinite bow and I made myself a fort and I just camped out there. <laughs> it took me like 30 minutes to kill everyone. Just make my window bigger. All right, let's imagine this. I'm sleeping. Yeah, we can add one more. There we go. I think that's a good amount. Actually, I think we should do one more. But how do we leave? Do you think they'll just, do you think they're stuck? Like, do you think I'm good? Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Do pillagers despawn? You can tame a pillager? I feel like that's not right. Yeah, you know, I should just trap them. That will get me killed. <laughs> Talk about things that are gonna kill me. Trapping four pillagers, I will die. I don't even have a shield. You know, that's what, oh, that's what I'll do with some of my iron. I think you only need one iron though for that. I already have that. I could make a shield. Um, let's see if I can remember. Cause I, I'm trying not to, uh, open my recipe book as much as possible because I want to be a pro gamer um, and it's working I've pretty much known how to make everything <gasps> my first pickaxe look at it's so shiny this is what I'm talking about oh my gosh I am so advanced all right enough of that I also need myself a bucket thank you okay and now I have two iron for when I I don't know what I'm going to use two iron for. Not shears, because I've already decided I don't need shears until later. Until I'm I'm just so wealthy. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Here's our next game plan. And it doesn't have to do with these guys. We're going to go over there, I think is where it was. No, no, no. We're going to go over there, because it's where the village was. And we're going to um find that portal. And we're going to take the gold from it so I can, um, so I can make myself a little, <sighs> a little watch, a little clock. And then I know when the daytime is so I can never, ever, ever have the sun trick me. And like when it's raining like this, like I didn't even realize it was nighttime. The sun's trying to trick me. Whee! Okay. Run. <gasps> you grew up. Good job, tree. I'll harvest you, but not right now because I have a plan. See? In, in regular survival, I'm not scared of those pillagers. In fact, one time I even, I literally taunted them and led them away from my base. I was like, and it was no problem, and I didn't die. But it's like, now that I'm all, like, mortal and stuff with one life, I can't do nothing without freaking out. Can't even go in caves, so I'm such a coward. My true colors are showing, and I don't like them. Hmm, hopefully, 
hopefully I get better at this game just through this. But at the same time, it is just Minecraft. Like, I feel like you don't, you don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. But I do think, because the, the pillagers, does that mean an outpost is close? Or is that just, are they just like, they're just really just exploring? Good for them, I guess. If I were a pillager, I'd want to be one of them that just like went around. I wouldn't want to be the one that stayed home and like guarded the base. That's so boring. I'm so close. I can't wait to use my iron pickaxe. Alright. Boop. I'm so wealthy. Um, anything crazy going on? I kind of want to go to that. Where's the village? Because I realized I literally didn't see any farms when I was first there. And I usually, that's where I get a lot of my farm growing stuff from villagers. Yeah, they, they really just don't have farms. The heck, guys? Oh, I heard a cat. I'm not a cat person. Although I do hear they keep the creepers away, so maybe that would be a reason for me to get a cat. But I would- I would much prefer a dog or something. I tried getting a cat in Minecraft, and it would- it wouldn't follow me. It would just, like, wander off and do its own thing. And then it would teleport to me when it got way too far, but I was like, Come on, dude, you're supposed to be by my side. We're supposed to be in this together. Is there a farm in here? No? Okay. I'm gonna have to set off, and I think I'm gonna set off in that direction that I said was calling to me to find another village, because this village, as nice as it is, and it does have a lot of villagers I can use, and I, this stream I'm pretty sure I can just literally, I can boat a ton of villagers to my house, no problem. It doesn't have, it doesn't, like, all it had were 11 potatoes in a chest I stole. So I can at least grow potatoes now, but I want, I want things like carrots and beetroots fun stuff like that. Oh, beehive. Okay. Noted. I'll bring you guys back over. Pretty sure that's, pretty sure that's a Minecraft life hack, is bringing bees to your farm and they, they grow things fast for you. Oh yeah, okay, no, I just realized how I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna try and move the beehive and the bees are gonna actually kill me. I'll look up how to do it and I'll be extra safe. They'll probably kill me still. Aw oh, man, it sucks. A stupid way to die. Honestly, though, I prefer it over getting absolutely demolished by the pillagers. You know what else I need? I need redstone. I need redstone for my for my clock. Sapling, please. Just one would be nice. This is my fear. Whenever I start my spruce farms near my house, I'm always convinced I'm just gonna never get another sapling again. And t t that just might happen. <laughs> and then I never get the spruce tree farm. Are they still over? Ow. Are they still over there? <gasps> They're not. I am almost more afraid, actually. That's... <laughs> Did they despawn or are they somewhere else? <laughs> oh, no. I feel like I have to check it out. Or I could just build my roof. You know what? I don't need to know. I could be blissfully unaware. I'm just gonna say they despawned. Actually, here, let's move my bed. See if- is here the place I want it? It's all about the sunset. Man, that's the best way to fall asleep watching the sun- Oh, this sucks. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Okay. That's better. Not what I want. And you know, usually I just be like, ah, who cares? But it's it's I'm it's literally the house that I'm building by myself. Like there's so many different things I could be doing to make what I want happen happen. I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna build it, we're gonna see what we'll see how it goes. You know, it's it's really not up to me. It's it's whatever happens in the building process. Like, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'm really scared to leave my house. I'm gonna have to check it out. Blissfully unaware is not as blissful as I thought because I'm a little bit aware of not a lot. So I'm not just completely oblivious. Okay. I'm so uneasy. This is not a fun game. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Okay. I'm digging my little house, so I've decided this is definitely where I'm gonna live. I like it. I like the location. 
I like, I like everything about it. And soon I'll have walls to protect me. I feel like I need to make a composting bin so I can bone meal that tree. I should start my farm for real. I should build it, and I always, there's always one way I build farms. And it's like, it's a big old triple decker building. And I really love it. And it's one of them I stole off the internet. Because anything I build that I really like, I stole off the internet. Why are you so slow? The other one grew fine. What's wrong with you? You stupid or something? Probably. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. For realsies. We're gonna trek out there. We're gonna explore, because I want to go over there. We're gonna make some bread. Alright, off I go. Go explore that way. I have my bed right. Yeah, I think I have everything I need. Ow. And the trick is to run as fast as you can so the pillagers can't catch you. <gasps> Holy no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. <gasps> I need to grow a backbone. And, oh, I should get a sword. That's what I should do. What's... <gasps> there are multiple. No, my life hack is ruined. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Yeah, I should get a sword. <laughs> I think I have enough iron, too. Alright, where's the other one? Did the other one die? Or were they in this cave? Okay. That would make me feel a little better, though. Like, they didn't just spawn, and then they are waiting for me, but they were, like, in the cave when they spawned. Because I really- I don't like them just being out and about. Because I very specifically- I go to bed, that's the life hack. I go to bed, so they never get a chance to spawn in the real world. Like, they can spawn in caves all they want, but in the real world? No. Where I am? Absolutely not. That's not allowed. Let's do one of them bird's eye views. Is that a creeper? Yep, it is. I like that I'm slowly coming to the reality that there are monsters in this world. I was blissfully unaware for so long. But no, yeah, hardcore Minecraft, there's actually monsters. I'm no longer confident in my just setting a bed anywhere and sleeping technique. Even though it'd probably be fine, it'd probably work fine, I don't like it has been, but I'll, I'll, I'll dig myself a little hole to go to bed in. Alright, we're safe. Everything's alright. Yeah, I saw monsters yesterday, but honestly, like, that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. And I can- I can handle it. It's okay. We're gonna get out here. Alright. I am safe. Do 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 do. Everything's all- <gasps> Village! And I'm gonna- This one's- far away and it's far enough away that i'm like i'm probably not gonna come back here for much i'll probably just uh raid this well this is a way better village than the one close to my house no offense the one close to my house is that a forest fire not on my watch oh my gosh this is how i'm gonna die you could die though oh dang it let's hope i get some cooked beef I'm a firefighter for sure, honestly. Okay, uh, very nice. That's cool. Yeah, they should have, um, they should have birch towns and villages, and they should have cherry blossom towns and villages. And that would be very cool and awesome. Not that I'm complaining about what we already have, like, villages nowadays are so cool. Back in my day, like five years ago, they were not nearly as cool. There's so much stuff now. So much variety in the architecture as well. I really, I appreciate it. Like this one, for example. Look at this. You got a carpet and you got a loft. Oh, and you got a balcony. Amazing. Don't mind me, guys. I hope, hope you didn't need those. Wow. I don't know why I've decided it necessary. Oh, we got a saddle. We're rich. I don't know why I need four cauldrons. I really don't. But I'm not ever going to pass up an opportunity to save iron. Because cauldrons take a lot of iron. Alright? Take like... I don't know. I feel like they take like four, six pieces. Something like that. I really don't know. I've never had to build a cauldron because I always just steal them. Oh my gosh. I swear. Every single village I come into, there's a village stuck in this corner specifically of this specific building. <gasps> Beetroot seeds. Oh my gosh. You know, I'll take everything, but I'm never gonna 
I'm never gonna kill an iron golem. Like, I'm not about that life. And I have eight cauldrons now. Good thing. Wouldn't wanna not have cauldrons. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. <laughs> I have 12 cauldrons. And I'm decked out. Check me out. I will probably take this off. I don't really like wearing armor. I really like... It's, it's, I don't know. It just feels so restricting. But that's probably not the best life hack in um hardcore mode. I probably should be a little more armor friendly. I should probably like armor more. Bye bye village. Thank you for your stuff. Oh, it's getting night time. I should actually... I should have just stayed in the village. I didn't realize how late it was. All right, I'm doing pretty good actually. I got my shield, I got my iron stuff. I should, I really need to make a sword though. That's what I'll do with the remaining two irons I have. I don't know though, my brain just, I never think about making a sword cause I'm so bad at using them. I'm like, why even try? Which is not, that's not how you get better at things. So I'm going to try. I'm actually very excited to see how I die. I hope it's cool but it's probably gonna be something lame like fall damage. Coming back. Is that one sapling grown yet? No. All right. I didn't need it to be grown anyway. I'm gonna make you some bone meal, then you'll have to grow. All right. I really need to start working on the storage situation because this is not good. I got a lot of stuff. I don't know where to put it. And if I, my instinct is to just make a bigger chest, but that's, that's where I, that's my downfall, because then I really won't sort it. So many things I need to do. I'm just gonna make another chest. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Wow. All right, I'm gonna let you decompose naturally, and then you'll give me a sapling. I decided. You're gonna be real happy. You're gonna give me a sapling. Look how much wood that gave me. So nice of it. Such a great little tree. This is my goal for today. I'm gonna finish my house and then I'll be satisfied with my progress. You dropped any saplings yet? No? That's not great. It's not what we're looking for here. You seriously not dropped a sapling yet? You dropped some sticks. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm cursed. I'm doomed. My spruce tree fantasies are being destroyed. Just one sapling. One. Please. <laughs> Just one? Don't make me go out there again to find more. More spruce trees. <laughs> All I want is one. <laughs> okay. This is ridiculous. I had two trees. I had two spruce trees and neither of them gave me saplings that's ridiculous i know and these two leaves are gonna be saplings i know for a fact and something touched me sad pig okay <sighs> bro you can't be doing that i'm too jumpy you know what pig you know what come here <sighs> you're gonna be my good luck charm okay if there's a sapling, that means you're lucky. If there's not a sapling, that means you're stupid. I'm sorry. I really hope there's a sapling for your sake. I don't make the rules. It's not my fault. Huh? Oh, and then if it just doesn't decompose at all, and the sun sets and monsters come- Okay, fine. I guess that's option three. Here, come here, come here, buddy, real quick. <laughs> I need you for good luck. Here, here, just come on in. All right, I know there's gonna be sapling waiting for me in the morning. Oh, it's still there. All right, come here, sir. Where'd you go? Oh my gosh. Come on. Can you really, are doors your kryptonite? Is that your thing? I don't need a door. You're gonna make it happen, I know. There's a carrot in it for you. If there's a sapling, I'll feed you one carrot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ha ha ha! What good are you? What the heck? 
There you go. I guess it's not really your fault. Maybe you're lucky at other stuff. Here, you should, um... Here, come on with me. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and get another one. Another sapling. And I, I've decided that you're lucky. Because you were the one that... Oh, dude. Come on. You were the one that nudged me and you weren't a zombie. And I'm a little delirious right now because of how I'm on edge all the time. So it was, it was nice to see you that you were a pig and not a zombie. I wish I had a lead. That'd make my life easy. Talk about, oh my gosh. The next time I see a wandering trader, he's so dead. Come on, man. It's just you and me. <laughs> I hope you didn't mind me slaughtering your friend there. That wasn't nothing personal. Here, come on. I know there's like a, there's a spruce tree over here. Oh my gosh, that is such an ominous cave. All right, all right, buddy. You see that spruce tree over there? You're gonna make it have saplings, cause I need them for my sapling farm for spruce trees. I'm in my superstitious phase. And I know technically you didn't work twice, but that was, those were trial runs. Plus, I th I'd already destroyed the tree and you weren't there. You weren't my good luck charm yet, so you hadn't worked your magic. But now you will, won't you? And I fed you a carrot too, so now you're on my side. Before you didn't realize we were best friends, that you should work your magic on me. But now that I've fed you a carrot- oh my gosh, is that iron? Sweet! You're so lucky. Now that I've fed you a carrot, you're gonna watch me destroy that tree and you're gonna give me a sapling. Because you're basically- um, omnipient, omnip, you're whatever that is. All right, so do, are, are we in agreement? I want this tree to give me a sapling after I, at least two after I um chop it down because I want to replant it after. And that's the deal. All right, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. You're working your magic. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're so awesome, pig. You're so awesome. Oh, we got two. Okay, I'm gonna replant it like I promised. Oh, we got five! Oh my gosh! You're amazing. I didn't even realize. Thank you, sir. Alright. Alright, I'll come back for that iron. I think you should stay with me. Gonna be honest. Gonna be honest, buddy. At this point, I thought I'd have a dog. Um, and I wouldn't have to drag around a pig with a carrot. Uh, but, you know what I mean? You get along fine. We get along well. You know, I slaughtered two of your kind right in front of you. You don't really seem to care. So I think we're on the same page in a lot of this stuff. I get lonely, alright? I get lonely. Plus, you should, you, you want to come with me, because it's, it's scary out in the big world. You know, there are all kinds of people who will just split your head open with an axe. Those people are me. I'll do that. So if you're not my friend, it's better to be my friend than my enemy, let's say. You get it. You're, you're a smart pig. You've been in the world long enough that you understand. You know, it's survival of the fittest. Yeah, you get it. Man, buddy, you're... you're brutal. There's... Why are there suddenly so many pigs in our path? I just don't want them following us home. Hey, no, no, no. We're still good, right? Yeah, we're still good. <gasps> I got a saddle I can ride you on! Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I wanna... Yeah, alright, we'll be besties for sure. And once I put the saddle on you, then I don't have to start killing every single pig I ever see, because I won't confuse them with you. No offense, you look like every other pig. You know, you're, you're, you're like all the other pigs. There's nothing different about you. Except for the fact that you're lucky. And awesome. All right, <laughs> let's put the door back on my house. There we go. How does this work out? Woohoo! Now I just need a carrot on a stick. Do I need string for that? Yeah, I need string for that. Oh, let's not go down there. Tree, tree, tree. Tree. Successful tree farm. We got four. There's no way four trees aren't gonna give me saplings now. Like, there's no way. 
I'm not even, that's not even jinxing it. That's just like, I'm speaking the truth. There's no freaking way that's gonna happen. I think this is a good place to end it. I got a friend. Pretty much almost finished my house. Mm -hmm. All right. Goodbye.